In life, you have two choices. You can build a lifestyle or you can live a bullshit life, but you can't do both. Welcome to the Freedom Lifestyle Experience, where we focus on building the lifestyle you want. And now here's your host, Michael Burns. Welcome to the Freedom Lifestyle Experience. I'm your host, Mike Burns. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. So we all want to make a bunch of money. We want to have an attractive partner, wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever it might be. We want to have that cool watch, the big house, the vacations, awesome circle of friends. We want to be, you know, jacked and in excellent shape, health and fitness dialed in, you know, spiritually connected, everything that I'm talking about with this lifestyle. But you're not going to have any of that if you don't have a foundation that you're building it on. So today I want to talk about setting yourself up to win and how do you do that? And for me, without a good foundation, without a strong foundation, you're not going to be able to build anything. And whatever you do build on top of a shitty foundation is at some point going to crumble and you're not going to, you just can't build, you can't build something great and worthwhile on a shitty foundation. So how do you get a strong foundation? How do you set yourself up for success? Well, it's going to be the core values that you're operating your life from, your business from, everything that you do. We all have our values, our morals, our basically our our core values that we're operating from. But I think a lot of people are just cruising through life and they don't know really know what those are. And without your core values and the foundation of which you're trying to build this lifestyle on, how are you going to actually build this lifestyle that you're looking for? Whether it's the business, the relationships, the money, the health and fitness, whatever it is with without these core values, you're just not going to get very far or you're going to go down and you're going to start building and maybe you're going to have certain things going well, like your business is going good, but your relationships suck or business is going good and your health and fitness sucks or your health and fitness is good, but your business sucks, you know, or you're doing all of that stuff, but you're not spiritually connected and you're just, you're winning and you've got all this stuff going on, but you have zero fulfillment. And that's everything that I'm talking about with the lifestyle. So circling back to this foundation and and the core values is really going to be your guiding principle through life and business. So I wanted to share my core values with you guys. You know, I've spent a lot of time and money with different masterminds, coaches, seminars, books, uh, you name it, I've done it. But core values really set into me because it's not a sexy thing. You know, everyone knows about core values and it, almost in every success book or business book or people put it in their speeches if you go into a seminar or whatever it is. But I think it's one thing that just gets a little overlooked because again, it's not a sexy thing. But for me, core values really stuck when I joined Arte Syndicate. It was a $70,000 commitment for 12 months, $6,000 a month. It's run by Andy Frisella and Ed Milet. If you don't know who they are, Andy Frisella is the owner of First Form, which is a large supplement company. They, I don't know, they probably do five or $600 million a year in revenue. Ed Milet's the, probably the greatest speaker on earth. He's got multiple businesses. He's worth, I don't know, seven or $800 million, but uh, both really just high level guys. So I sit in there and all excited, ready to learn, you know, let's, uh, we're going to get all the good shit. I'm spending all this money here. What's Andy, this guy that's making his company's doing 500 million a year. What's, what's he going to talk to us about? Like, what's the secret sauce? And his foundation was core values. They literally run their entire business on core values. They hire on core values. They fire on core values. They don't reward their people off of sales numbers. Like everything they they do, hiring, firing, rewarding, it's all based on the core values. I got to go to their new headquarters in St. Louis earlier this year at one of the Arte Syndicate Summit meetups. And it was really cool to see this really high-end facility. I mean, the nicest building I've ever been in too, but they had their core values all throughout the building on the wall. And it was just uh, really eye-opening to me that core values is so much more than just, yeah, I'm an honest guy. I I do the right thing. I, you know, I work hard. I'm talking about next level core values, like core values that you run your entire life off of. If you're a business owner, you know, everything that you run your business off of. So for me, I've always had my core values, but I never really took this serious. So rolling out, you know, lifestyle, realty, and lifestyle lending are our two companies and Freedom Lifestyle Experience is my podcast here, but everything that I've been pushing is about this lifestyle. So I made uh, my core values I've had, but I, I've got a core value for each letter in lifestyle that I truly live by every day. And I can say 
the more that I've taken these serious and committed to it, the better my life gets, the better my business gets, the better my surrounding gets because I have a core set of guiding principles and it just makes life so much easier in making decisions and who you're going to let in your life, who you're going to cut out of your life when you've got your core values that you're operating from. It makes things very black and white and it's it's much easier to operate and, and grow. So my primary core value is lead by example. If I'm leading by example, then I'm being held accountable to to myself, but I'm also, if I'm trying to be a leader and I'm leading by example, then my actions across the board, no matter what it is, either I'm leading by example or I'm full of shit and I'm not leading by example. So if I'm doing stuff that's not being a leader and it's not being an example and it's not leading by example of these core values that I'm preaching and talking about, well, then, then I'm full of shit. So leading by example is... Well, it's my first core value I have here. Uh, The second one is integrity. Without integrity, you don't have anything. So my dad, when I was a kid, I grew up in a small town, family-owned business, and it was the greatest gift that I could have ever had. But my dad, he's always told me since I was little, and this has stuck with me, and he's, he's told it to me my whole life, is, son, in this world, all you have is your name and your word. And that's been in, burned into my heart and and how I operate. So integrity is hugely important to me. My name and my word. Just a quick story that I have. A couple months ago, I closed a deal, and one of my primary investors who invests in a lot of my deals, his name's Greg. I probably got a couple million dollars of his at any given time, and I'd sold a, a property that we flipped. He lent four hundred and ninety thousand dollars on this deal, but when he had sent in his payoff. He had his to the title company. He had his prior. He had his principal loan amount at four hundred and eighty thousand. So I just like the deal was closed. It was done. Probably wrapped up. Like it, it had been a good week, maybe two weeks. And I just happened to be going through all the all the documents, kind of closing the deal out on my end, running numbers, getting an idea of what we made on the deal. Ended up being the largest flip I've ever done, which is just a side note, I guess, a little brag there. But. Um, I was looking through it and he had put in there that his principal loan amount was 480,000 and I was almost certain that he lent me 490,000. So I called him up and again no like the deal was done like this could have been my little $10,000 secret but I called him up and I said, "Hey Greg, do me a favor just reviewing this deal that we closed a few weeks ago. I think you shorted yourself about $10,000." You had on here that your loan amount was four hundred and eighty thousand. I'm pretty sure you lent four ninety on that. Do me a favor, check it out. Let me know. He said, "Okay, cool." So he called me back. I don't know, probably an hour later, and he said, "Michael, you were right. I did short myself ten grand." And he proceeded to say, "Most people wouldn't make that call." And thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that, and that says a lot about you. But he's already known that because we've been doing business together probably for I don't know six or seven years now. But that could have been my $10,000 secret. No one would have known. But that's not how I roll because I'm my name and my word and my relationships are important to me and I operate from integrity. And because I operate from integrity, the people who are in relationship with me, like this guy, for example, I could text him, hey, I need $600,000 for a deal Monday. And if he has the money, he texts me back, okay, sounds good. Then he'll wire the money to the title company. Obviously, there's paperwork and stuff, but that's it. So integrity is just, that's just one example that just happened. And I'm not sure a lot of people would have pointed out, hey, you shorted yourself 10 Gs. So anyways, integrity is a big one for me. So in lifestyle, I got two for F. One is family and one is freedom. I couldn't limit it to just one. But uh, starting with family, I mean, family's family. I think that goes unsaid. We all know what family is. You got to take care of them. Some of us, we've got toxic people that are in our family. You got to You can't tolerate that, you know, but you got to, if you're not going to be there for your family, that says a lot about you and your core values. Like if you can't step up and show up for your family, then what are you going to do for people who aren't family? It's just family's family. So, and one thing that's really cool for me and, and our situation and our business is my whole family, well, not my whole family, but a lot of my family is involved prior to us opening lifestyle realty and lifestyle lending we went by the Burns team, homes and loans, and I work with my family. So on the mortgage business, me and my brother are partners. On the real estate brokerage side and the investing side, both my mom and my wife work with me, and it's just really cool to one be doing it with family, but you know, secondly to be 
creating the opportunities that I am in in my business and be able to share that with my family is a really important thing to me. So everything that I do is for my family and and my circle of people who may not be blood blood related, but they're they're still family to me. And then freedom. I mean, fucking a. This is the United States of America, and freedom is the one thing that we have that is so unique about this country, and and why so many people risk their lives and do crazy shit to get to this country just to have a taste of that freedom and what we have here in America. You can literally who and whatever you want to do and be. And we need to protect that. We need to respect that. And we need to appreciate that. We've got an American flag that flies in our office. I've got a big American flag in my backyard. And I'm all about the red, white, and blue and and the freedom that this country offers us. But also everything that everyone's doing, you know, if you ask people, hey, what, what do you want in life? People are going to say financial freedom. Well, why do they want that? Because if they have financial freedom, then they can do these other things. And these other things are going to be lifestyle. They want to take care of their family. They want to have experiences. They want to go on vacation. They want to not worry about bills. They want to, whatever it is they want to do, you know, they, they want more time. But at the end of the day, that all comes down to the freedom, like your freedom to do and be whatever it is you want to do and be. And that's a huge part of this lifestyle we all want freedom. Like that's the foundation of, of everything that I'm doing anyways. And, and that I think most people want and the foundation of the lifestyle that we're talking about building is freedom. Experts at our craft. I take this very serious. I want to be the best at what I'm doing, because if you're the best at what you're doing, that means you're going to be successful in it. You're going to be making money in it. You're going to have notoriety in it. Your clients are going to trust you. They're going to see that you're the best at what you do. But the, on the personal side, being an expert in my craft, that's that's really important. But on the business side, for our clients, you know, whether it's our mortgage clients, our real estate clients, or the loan officers and real estate agents that hang their license at our company, you want to be an expert at your craft. People are making the biggest investment they're making in purchasing a home, or you're handling the financing or refinancing the biggest investment people have in their life or the people who trust us to hang their license at my company, they see me as a leader and I'm going to help them grow their business and help them just do better. I got to be an expert at my craft to do that. So that's really important. Plus, if you're not an expert at your craft, your craft is how you make money. So if you want to be successful and you want to build this lifestyle and business as money is a huge piece of it, like you got to be an expert at your craft. Self-improvement which goes hand in hand with being an expert at your craft, but being an expert at your craft is more business related. Self-improvement, I'm talking about across the board self-improvement, but improvement on yourself. I can say the more that I've worked on the internal, and I've said this on the show before, if you follow me online, I talk about this all the time, taking personal accountability, but the more that you work on yourself from the inside, everything on the exterior will get better. But self-improvement, you're reading books, you're going to seminars, you're joining networking groups, you're going to masterminds, you're listening to podcasts, you're working on improving yourself every day. And that's not something you did. That's something you regularly do. If, and again, this is another thing that gets overlooked, but you hear these business influencers, and this has been something that's been said by all the, you know, quote unquote gurus from the end of time is uh, if you're not growing and learning, then you're dying. And that really is the truth. So self-improvement, transparency, Transparency is huge. Are you transparent or are you full of shit? Transparency goes kind of hand in hand with integrity. It's a little bit different, but for me, being transparent is important. I don't I don't want to be one guy online and and a different guy, you know, in person. Or I don't want to if I'm with this group of friends, then I'm this guy. But if I'm with the, these other people, then then I show up as a totally different dude. Or I'm really cool with people out and about, but then I, at home, I'm a piece of shit and I'm not good to my family or my wife or my dog or whatever it might be in business. You know, are you being shady? Are you being transparent? And that goes back to that story of that 10 grand. Transparency is a really big deal. And to me, if you're not being transparent, it's only a matter of time before you get caught slipping and it's going to cause you problems. Yes, attitude. Attitude is the foundation of everything. Well, like, Literally, you you go everything that you're doing in life. No matter where you go, you're bringing your attitude with you. So your attitude's either good, it's bad, or maybe it's in the middle. But your experience of everything that you have in life, whether it's things or the experience that you have with people or in business or whatever it might be, is literally going to start with your attitude. And your attitude 
enthusiasm is contagious. Like a positive attitude is contagious, but a negative attitude is also contagious. So if you're not self-conscious and aware of your attitude and the attitude that you're showing up with, I can promise you if your attitude's not good at best, things aren't going to be going well. And it's how you feel all day, every day is with your attitude. So I want to have a yes attitude. I want to have people around me that have a yes attitude. Loyalty. Loyalty is priceless. For me, everything I do is relationship-based and loyalty, it truly is priceless. You can't buy loyalty and, and it's one of the most important things to me, especially I take relationships so seriously. I'm so heavily invested in, in the relationships that I have. And once I let you into my life and my circle, there's nothing I won't do for you. And loyalty is, it's, it's a priceless thing. And it's something that's really important to me. And because it's so important to me, that's the way I show up as well. So I, I give loyalty. I'm, I'm loyal to a fault. Like I probably tolerate a little bit more bullshit and mistakes and different things than I should because I am loyal. But loyalty is just a huge deal to me. And it's a two-way street. You know, you got to, to expect loyalty, you have to first be showing up in loyalty. And not only loyal to other people, but loyalty to yourself as well. It really, that's more important. Being loyal to yourself is more important to being loyal to others because if you're not loyal to yourself, you're not going to have this good relationship with yourself. And if you're not loyal to yourself and you don't do the things you tell yourself you're going to do and you don't keep the promises you make to yourself, then you're going to think you're a piece of shit with yourself. And the relationship that you have with yourself is it all starts with the loyalty that you keep with yourself and, and the things you tell yourself you're going to do. And the, my last core value is experience. Everything that we're doing here on earth is an experience. My podcast, Freedom Lifestyle Experience, I'm talking about freedom. I'm just now connecting those that freedom is one of my core values as well. But, you know, I want to have the freedom, everything that freedom entails, lifestyle, everything that the lifestyle entails, experience. It's a freedom lifestyle experience. What experience are you having here on earth? And your experience that you have is going to be directly related to the core values and the foundation that you build. You're going to have the experience of leading by example. Are you going to experience integrity? Are you going to experience family and everything that that means? Freedom and everything that, that comes with freedom. Are you going to experience being the best at what you do, being an expert at your craft? Are you going to experience self-improvement? Are you going to experience constantly getting better and leveling up and, and going to the next thing and the next thing and getting better and better? Are you going to experience transparency? Are you going to experience a positive yes attitude? Or are you going to experience life in a shitty attitude? You know, are you going to experience loyalty because you're a good, loyal individual and that's who you surround yourself with? Or are you going to experience lies and deceit and everything that's not loyal? So experience is everything, but also on the company side, I'm talking about that personally, but on the business side, ex the experience that we provide our clients whether it's, you know, someone that's buying or selling a home or someone that's getting a mortgage, the experience is, is everything that we're setting out to do. We want to provide a VIP experience for people where they are also are our clients or are the loan officers and real estate agents that work at our company. Are they experiencing all these core values that I'm talking about here? So those are my core values that I operate off of. And like I said, it, it's really easy to overlook core values and be like, oh yeah, you know, that's cute. He's got a core value for each letter of lifestyle and go right over it. But this is a foundation of everything that you do. It's your guiding principles and it makes making decisions so much easier. Either things are in line with your core values or they're not. And if they are in line with your core values, well, then that's an initial filter of everything that comes in. Like there's all sorts of different shit coming in from all directions and, and all different areas of life. And this is a really good initial filter. Like if it's in line with your core values, then you can take it to whatever the next step with that thing is. But if it's not in line with your core values, then you can immediately dish it out and focus on the stuff that is in line with who you are and what you're about and what you're trying to do. So take out a piece of paper and write down all the things that are important to you, the different values that you have write down 15, 20 different things and come up with probably four to eight different core values and commit yourself to them and have that be a foundation and set yourself up for success by having these guiding principles because you got to have them because without core values and without setting yourself up for success, you're just not going to get there or what you build on top of your foundation that you have is going to crumble. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you like the show, if you're getting value from it, 
please share it with your friends. Go leave me a review. And uh, like I said, this is episode three. I'm committed to doing this. And hopefully I'm going to get better with each episode as well. But uh, like the show, share the show and shoot me a DM. I'd love to know what you guys want to hear about, different topics, what you like, what you don't like. And uh, I'd really like this to be an interactive thing. You can follow me on Instagram at michael.burns. I'm on Facebook at Mr. Michael Burns. And uh, thanks again. We'll see you guys next week. This is the podcastfactory.com.